This holiday's actually made me realise I actually do love you, Darren, and I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That is so sweet. I know you're saying that like, you miss me and you can't wait and this and that, but I just feel like I'm not over it yet. Yeah, and I understand, like, obviously, if you did that to me, me putting my, myself in your shoes, I'd be really hurt and I'd be really upset. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't even want to speak to you either. Like, what? I'm, I'm sorry and I know that it's going to take you a long time to forgive me. But all I'm, all I'm asking is for you to actually forgive me in the long run because I am so sorry. And I would actually do anything to prove to you how sorry I am. Now I've made a real big mess of everything. All I can try and do is rectify my mistakes because I generally am sorry. I'm devastated that Darren won't forgive me because I'm desperate for us to start again. Three months ago, I split up with Malia's dad, Manny. Now I've got a new job and a new man. But I need to get on better with Manly for Malia's sake. Today we've got our first joint mediation session. I really hope it will help. Here we've got two parents who clearly, obviously love this little girl. Some terrible things have happened. Tell me a little bit about where each of you are. I don't know, I just want to get along for her, really. What about you, Manly? I feel the same. She's like, disappointed in her. Because we are products of our childhood, her experience is that the two most important people in her universe don't get on. She will learn things from that that won't do her good in her adult life. I think Marley would have had a much better upbringing if we were both together, and which is what I was saying to you. Every, like the whole time, like, I've, I've been thinking, me, like Mia, you're a cheat. Why would you leave me and be with someone else? Like <laughs> because I didn't leave you to be with someone else. But you man. did leave me. You Mia, didn't we've, we've, had, me. we've had this, we've had this argument okay. loads of times. So you right. can't just and say, you know what? Anymore. You guys are very, very good at this argument. The only reason I wanted to come here really was to find out why she's still trying to do things to hurt me. I want to talk about feelings rather than who did what. It just becomes Groundhog Day and we go round and round and it doesn't move you on. I should imagine that when it comes to meeting to swap over Malia, both of you got a knot in your stomach. When you put Malia in the car the other day, I said to you, has she been good today? And you ignore me. I want to speak to you. Don't ask me how my child is. You know how my child okay, is. Cool. Okay, she's cool. good. Yeah, Let's she's be fine. separate then. Let's be separate. Do you not ask me but anything about Marley, and I won't ask you anything. But this is, this is what I'm saying to you. And, and, what, and what environment does Malia grow up in with this? This little girl who's so young and is absorbing and watching exactly. everything that the and two and of lucky you are doing. That, she, that she's got so my family to, you, to do things with. She's a product of both of you, and she needs both of you. She don't need me, huh? I don't want to do this. I, I really do not want to do this anymore, because you are horrible. I know Manny's hurting, but we're apart now, and he can't speak to me like that anymore. 